so we have this case of uh, multiple axes in left lobe and a single small axis in the right lobe. We're doing a super selective memorialization of uh, left lobe largest lesion. We have this, if you can see, we have this feeder embolized and we have catheterized super selectively the branch of left hepatic. See, I'm injecting a little bit of PVA particle with stasis. This is the end phase, end of the. But the lesion has been, you know, nicely opacified. And you can show it. And the lesion has been nicely opacified with the branch. See, I'm injecting some contrast. Then micro catheter, a syn catheter. Syn catheter is a very difficult catheterization. It's used for difficult catheterization. So, this is a tortuous anatomy of a almost 75 80 year old woman uh, and very difficult to catheterize but somehow we have we have the cement catheter cement position and a micro catheter negotiated in the feeder she had bad uh, hepatic uh, um, disease hepatic functions are bad massive ascites and they have a you know prejudice that they cannot get ascites drained because they say they have had some mortality uh, due to site is drained previously. I don't know how, but it has. It is their belief. So, you know, we can see it. Now, there's good stasis, good stasis, and now we go into cinema mode. Good stasis, and we want to stop it here because we have already done it. We have achieved good stasis into the same branch. We're not embolizing anything else because of the fear that she has a. Very, very bad uh, liver disease, you know, borderline liver disease, bad uh, B, child B. We discussed with Dr. Mali and it, it, she has a uh, bad child, child B, you know, late child B. So, we are into left hepatic artery branch and selectively chemo like our lesion looks very good. And this, this is the base angiogram, this is the base angiogram, complicated artery is communicating through, you know, and right hepatic is a region from supermesentric artery. So, when we take a run of splenic here or ciliac trunk here, we see that the hepatic artery is not filling easily through you know, ciliac trunk. So, the catheterization was that bad all the time. So, getting a little restless, she's tired, doesn't have pain, but she's tired. So, we have finished this part. And all we would like is just come out of it. And done fair amount of justice, removing it, just you can see. See, I'm removing the micro catheter slowly. It has some TV, but not too much of it. I'm just coming into right hepatic. And this is the right hepatic. What I would like, common hepatic, not right. Right is arising from uh, SMA. So, where is, where is that? So, what we will do is, see. Uh, chemoembolization is a procedure learnt by practice and experience and everybody individualizes it for the patient and for himself. So we have this, each case is different, so there is no standard technique. There are suggestions, there are recommendations, but then during practice we evolve our own methods. So, what I will do is, uh, we have some leftover cisplatin, I will infuse it into the common hepatic artery. Okay. Although there is some element of, you know, some PVA, the PVA into the, in the microcatheter, but I am not worried about it, for the simple reason that um, one, she has uh, see, this is the infusion into I have mixed some we will mix it with this is with, with lipidol you know, we mix it whatever with leftover with lipidol and toxilipicin uh, is there so just put it in this is a common device. It's showing. Can you see? Uh, it's a little difficult because it's a little dilute. But then we're not obstructing the artery. So it's just infusion. 
had a small region, exophytic region in right low. Just hoping it starts getting visualized, becomes opaque with some amount of lipidol so that later on we can go about it and we can you know do alcohol ablation and we've more or less done just remove it in some time thank you everyone thank you sir